Hello. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about uh, kind of the difference between a Y source and a delta source. So we're talking about a three phase generator, uh, like the one I've drawn over here, right? And just a couple of basics, right? A three phase generator. What we see there is we see, you know, our two magnetic poles, our north and our south. Uh, what we do is we take three individual windings or three coils, right? Our A coil, B coil, C coil, A phase, B phase, C phase, and we place those 120 physical degrees apart. And then what we do is when we rotate those through that magnetic field, we generate our three phase uh, sine wave, which is also going to see our sine waves 120 electrical degrees apart. So that's how the three phase generation works. Now, the big thing we want to remember here is this generator generates a voltage on each one of these windings. So it generates a phase voltage. Right, so now this phase voltage that generates gets generated on the winding. Now what we can do is we can take those windings and depending on how we connect them up, uh, we can have a couple different features which we connect to our load. So if we were dealing with like, let's start with a uh, Y source. So if we wanted to deal with a Y source, we would take those three windings and we would connect them in that Y formation. So we connect up a center point and we connect them so that they all have a center point just like that, right? And that center point will usually connect up to a neutral conductor, right? A neutral. And then we would have line one, line two, and line three that we would connect up. And that would be our source. So now there's a benefit of this source, right? The benefit of this source, and let's use 120 volts for this generator. So let's say this generator generates 120 volts per phase. The benefit here is I would have two voltages. My phase voltage across one winding would be 120 volts, but I would also have a line voltage, which would be root three larger, right? So I have, uh, in this case, I would have a line voltage, which equals my phase voltage times the square root of three. All right, so we have that ability to have a higher line voltage. And in this case, if we were using 120, we would have a 120 slash 208 volt system. Right, so our voltage has the ability to be root three larger. Right now, so the phase is still rated for that same 120 volts and whatever that current is. And that's the thing that we would wanna remember here is our, our current, our I line, so coming out on that line conductor is going to be the same as the current that the phase can put out. So it's often smaller, right? Because those windings end up being in series, so they can only put out a small amount of current. Now the other option, so this is a Y connection, right? The other option is a delta connection. Now, in a delta connection, what we do is we take our three windings, we connect them up so that our corners are connected. So they would be connected like that, right? We just take the same three windings. Now, what do we see here? Well, what we see here is my phase, right? Remember, I'm generating at 120 degrees on, or volts, sorry, on the phase. My phase voltage is my line voltage. So this would be line one, line two, line three, right? So we don't have multiple voltage here. Our phase, 120 volts, is our line to line voltage, right? So what we see in delta is V line equals V phase. What we also see here though, however, is yes, we can have the same amount of current going through the phase, just like each one of these will be rated for an amount of current. But because of the way this is, we would have two phases joining together, which allows us to increase our line current. So again, we'd have that 120 volts. But in this case, our I line would equal I phase times root three, right? So it allows us to see a, a higher line current, right? So depending on your application from your generator is really gonna determine whether you're going to connect it up in a Y formation or in a delta formation. 
Um, yeah, so that's just kind of covering how I go from a, a three-phase generator, right? How I take those three windings and I can connect them up in one of two ways and kind of how those two different ways look and their relationship between them. Um, yeah, so take a look. I've got a, another video on, or a bunch of other videos on reconnecting loads from Y to Delta. Um, and as well as check out my three phase Y and three phase Delta connection playlist. If you're looking for any, a lot more specifics on either one of those. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.